Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today's video is going to be what I got for Christmas this year. I love watching these videos. I do them every year, but I just, I thoroughly enjoy watching everybody's like what I got for Christmas. I don't know why, but I just, I love videos like that. So, uh, this, obviously this Christmas was very quiet. <laughs> um, and it was, it was a hard one for my family. Uh, we lost my grandmother um, in October and um, my uncle shortly before that. And so it was not as merry and bright as it usually is every year. So it was quiet, it was calm, and we just got through it. <laughs> Anyways, so let's get to what Santa Claus brought me. The first thing uh, I got was the GHD Platinum Professional Performance 1 inch Smart Styler. This is the iridescent um, one that Nordstrom received. This is the limited edition iridescent white with satin gold accents. So um, Nordstrom actually carries this. Uh, Sephora and Ulta don't have it, <clears throat> which I would have loved for them to have carried this. Maybe they'll get it later on in the year because I really wanted to be able to get it with my points. Um, and I know what you're saying right now. I know what you're thinking. You're like, Isabel, don't you already have one of these in the deep scarlet red? I do. I do. Um, but when I saw this iridescent one, I needed to have it. I just needed to have it. If if a girl wants to have more than one straightener, don't judge her, you know? Don't leave your hate comments down below. I'm just saying. It comes in this gorgeous navy blue, like hello, like how could I how could I not want it? Like I'm not I'm not gonna buy a third straightener, but just saying that when I bought my deep scarlet one, my I was in a bit of a pickle because my chi one was like acting up with the one I had for like over 15 years so I had to choose that one I didn't I didn't have a lot of uh, a lot of time to be you know choosy but if I would have had to choose between the red and the iridescent one I would have wanted this one anyway so it comes in this really pretty navy blue box it is leather and then you just open it and it's velvet on the inside and then i already took out the plastic just so that it could be a little bit more convenient to unbox on camera and then on the bottom you have the care instructions for the iron and it's just a big space where you can just store your iron that all the ghd irons come with this um, heat protectant iron guard which I absolutely love and then in the tip it says GHD and per it's perforated and when you're done using your iron you can li literally just slip this right on you don't have to wait until it cools down so it doesn't burn anyone or anything and then the plug has that plastic um, cover And then you've got this cord, which is truly, it's long enough. And then here is the styler. It is this pearly iridescent white straightener. I hope the camera is gonna pick up this beautiful color. You've got like pink, rose, gold, blues kind of shining through and on the bottom you've got this um what looks like a satin gold it's not matte it doesn't feel matte but it looks matte anyways this is beautiful it performs just as well as the red one because i did when i first received it i did take it out of the box just to make sure it worked um because once i wrapped it and put it under the tree I didn't know what the return policy was. I didn't want to miss the mark on that. I digress. So 
if you haven't seen this i haven't seen anybody like feature this beautiful color on youtube but this is so so beautiful and i'm not gonna let anybody make me feel bad about owning two straighteners And this box, in case you were wondering, is structured and hard, so it does protect your um, iron. I forgot the guard. All right, moving right along, the next item I got. So I got this, um, you know, this came to me during Black Friday just because they were having a sale. And so um, I got a nice discount on it during Black Friday. I got like 50 bucks off of the original price of the flat iron. Moving right along. If you guys have been following me on Instagram, I did post a picture of uh, this other present I got for Christmas. It did have this beautiful uh, bow on it. But I had to open my present and I don't know how to repackage it. <laughs> Um, my husband had called Sophia. I kind of made a little wish list with her. Um, she's my sales um, a rep representative at the Chanel Boutique in Atlanta, Georgia. And so I kind of made a little wish list and my husband called in and he got to pick whatever he wanted to purchase uh, for me. And so let's get started. She She's like amazing. She does the best packaging, the prettiest bows, and I can never replicate the bows. <laughs> so, Sophia, if you're watching this, thank you so much for your impeccable packaging skills. So on the inside, I just have this little envelope that has like the receipt of, like the gift receipt of the products. And then on the inside, okay, this is one of the things I love the most. These little tiny miniature Chanel um shopping bags guys is this cute or what like if i still played with barbies this will be the perfect accessory i'm giving this to my niece once i you know once she's old enough to play with little barbies so this could be like her little handbag and so it, she also puts this cute little chanel bow on the top and she just she's so generous uh, with the samples super cute but let me just show you what she put in here she put two samples of the LeBeige's um, Sun Kiss and this like you know you can use this as a highlight or you can mix this in with your foundation for a glowy kind of dewy finish and then she put a couple more samples several samples in here she put a Hydra Beauty micro gel um, hydrating Eye, eye cream and a Hydra Beauty Micro Serum sample. I really, really love all, all of the Chanel skincare line. The La Mousse Anti Pollution Cleansing Cream to Foam. I love this because I actually have the full size of this and um, I'm thoroughly enjoying it, but I like to have these little samples because it's good for travel. And the Legomage gel exfoliant anti-pollution exfoliate exfoliating gel um the cleansing gel the la mousse and the le gamage le gamage i can't even pronounce that right uh these two things launched this year and i'm super super excited to have these little samples because i can they're so convenient for travel instead of having to take the bottles because the bottles are pretty big all right, moving right along. You guys remember I just did the vi uh, a video on the rouge, the new the new rouge allure velvet lipsticks in the Le Lion uh, limited edition collection, and I told you there was this color 277 rouge fob that I didn't pick up and I really wanted to pick up. So my husband gifted this uh, to me for Christmas, and it is the most beautiful red. At first, I thought. Um, it was the same as the color 58 Rouge V, which is my favorite um, red from Chanel, um, right after Rouge Obscure. Uh, but this is what it looks like. And I'm going to do a comparison swatch for you guys. So on the bottom, you have the lion emblem. And I 
want to uh, swatch this for you really quick right next to Rouge V so that you guys can see that they are not the same. One has definitely more of a brick tone. The 277 uh, Rouge Fave has more of a brick undertone than Rouge V. So you guys saw that I posted a picture on Instagram of this lipstick. This is the limited edition Rouge V number 58. Uh, lipstick I purchased this um, this is a rouge allure velvet if you guys were wondering and I did get this off of the Chanel website so let me swatch this in the back of the hand this is the lipstick I was wearing on during Christmas and I did post a picture like a selfie I love this red on camera I know it's showing up pretty bright but in real life it's much it's a bit more softer i feel like on my skin tone for some reason it doesn't look as crazy or as like in your face as most reds do and i feel like i can wear that um a lot more during the day like i could even use that as like a day look which i usually don't wear reds uh during the day so this swatch right next to it is gonna be um 277 rouge fauve and then just let me show you what this looks like this one has definitely more of a brick undertone these lipsticks are super hydrating so this is uh, rouge fauve i don't know if it's the lighting or what it is but i promise you that rouge fauve has a i don't know if the camera's picking it up but it has a, a very deep uh brick undertone so these lipsticks are amazing uh i love the rouge velvet line i think that you get the best of both worlds you get that uh creaminess but that satin finish so just love it moving right along the next um two items in here are I'm not going to feature these yet. These, this was not, I purchased these myself. These are the Rouge Allure Lax. But this video is going to have to wait um, a day or two because I'm waiting for the third color. I ordered 61, 62, and 63. So I'll be doing a video on those um, soon. All right, the next item in here is a perfume that I don't have. It's the... Coco Chanel Coco. I've had my eye on this for a while and I first discovered this fragrance when I purchased, where is that? When I purchased the uh, Coco Noir. I really, really love this uh, fragrance. Now, the packaging is pretty much identical. The only thing that changes is that um, sticker and the fact that this one is noir but you can really tell the difference between the two of them because the bottles are uh different so the noir is completely black and in case you were wondering i own both bottles in the small which is 1.2 fluid ounces and the chanel coco is in a clear bottle which i'll show you now if this right after mademoiselle 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 ugh, chanel coco mademoiselle is my favorite chanel fragrance second in line is coco noir i love coco noir it's a perfect fall um fragrance autumn mm, warm but coco chanel for me number one i find this to be a unisex fragrance i think that this would smell super delicious on a man my husband wore it and it smelled completely different on him than it did on me it it was like way more masculine for some reason on his skin but when i wear it this fragrance is spicy i have i don't own a spicy fragrance so i gravitate towards um floral scents and this 
is, you guys, if you haven't tried it, get a sample of it, of course, before you invest because it's pretty pricey. Even for the small bottle, it's expensive. But it just smells so good. It's like spicy, warm, it's toasty. You just feel toasty when you wear this. And I feel like the color story of this is it's like a transformer that's how i um that's if i could if i could describe coco chanel in one word it'd be transformer why because when you spray it on it smells one one way when it's been on for 10 minutes it smells different it smells like something else and then throughout the day as you wear it the scent continually changes so i feel like when i wear this i just put on five different perfumes and they all take turns being a star throughout the day <laughs> that's that's uh, the best way i could describe this fragrance now this is definitely not a fragrance there's even like a powder powderiness to it like the way that it balances the spice the toastiness yet there's some feminine tone of like powdery elegance it's just a this formula such a great job love this perfume i just feel like you get like five cents in one bottle and it's very unique i don't own anything like this in my collection if i if i really um I had to pick all the fragrances that were the most unique in my collection it would be this one um coco mademoiselle even though it's a classic and everybody wears it and everybody owns it it's still very unique i don't have any like scent in my collection that smells like that um coco noir and my louis vuitton uh perfume that's called dream catcher that's the translation that chris one of my subscribers gave me thank you chris because I do not know French and I really should start Googling these names before I start doing these video videos, but I don't because I'm lazy. So I'm sorry. Um, but he told me that my Louis Vuitton perfume, um, that name in French that I couldn't pronounce, actually the translation to that in English is dream catcher. So those, these, those four fragrances that I've just mentioned are the most unique fragrances in my entire collection so with that said if you guys want to see like an updated like fragrance video let me know i'll go ahead and, and do one I'll let you know like what are staples in my collection things i can't live without but you guys it already smells different it already changed it already morphed to something different i'm sorry if i'm screaming you might want to lower your volume on your phone. <laughs> okay so the next and final item in here is the Coco Noir um, body cream. Now I follow Erin Nicole on YouTube. If you guys don't follow her, highly recommend Erin Nicole. When you watch her videos, you feel like you've transformed and you've time traveled into Barbie land. When I look at Erin Nicole, she's so beautiful. I mean, she looks like the Barbie dolls I used to play with as a child. And like everything is pink and perfect and wonderful and fantastic. And I just love being in her bubble of happiness when I watch her videos. So she doesn't, has no idea who I am. But Erin Nicole, it's your fault that I now own this. She um, actually hauled this and her and I share our love for the Coco Noir perfume. And she says that this cream was absolutely amazing. It was so fresh and so light. Uh, so I have oily skin, so I, cream is not something that I, I die for, you know? Uh, unless it's hand cream, because my hands are like sandpaper, they're very dry all the time. Uh, but usually I'm not someone who lathers. I don't lather my body in, in lotion because I have oily skin So it's not something I gravitate to towards but when she said light and fresh. I was like, I'm all about it I'm all about it. And this is so 
nice like first of all i was super taken aback by the packaging like let's let's take a moment to look at this for a second like it's a glass bottle with a plastic top i mean you guys that's very that's luxury right there i don't know it's this speaks this black all of this black it speaks to me i don't know I love it and now I'm gonna put this next to my nightstand now does this smell identical to the perfume no I feel like this is a much softer fresher version of the perfume which I prefer because the perfume is already very strong so this lotion is just how Aaron Nicole describes it. It's just light, lightweight, soft, but fresh. But you're still getting that amazing scent of the Coco Noir that you love. It's just not as potent as the fragrance or, you know, the perfume that you purchased. So I'm super excited um, that I have this body cream. Uh, Santa was very sweet to me this Christmas. And I just, I don't know, like... I don't know my grandmother if she were still alive I would have probably gifted this um, to her for Christmas because I don't know she only wore black and white and when I see things like this all black yet elegant and I don't know it's such a statement it just reminds me of my grandma like she was the strongest woman I have ever met in my entire life. She made no apologies. She was a rebel of her time. She, she rocked a pixie cut in a time when that was like, you know, women with short hair, you know? And she didn't care. Yet she was always glamorous and always fabulous you know she used to have a saying that, that went something like this um primero muerta que sencilla which means i rather basically i rather be dead than mediocre um and that stuck to me always because she always inspired me to embrace myself embrace my weirdness my quirks um what makes me different uh she was just an amazing woman and i'm so sorry <laughs> anyway it reminds me of her this giant black jar of lotion uh reminds me of her she loved chanel <laughs> as well um but every time i see either an all black suit or um something very luxurious just black or white or that combination it just reminds me of her essence um but yeah anyways that completes this video thank you so much for watching i hope that you enjoyed if you guys own this lotion um this body cream could you let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below if you own the coco chanel uh fragrance i would love your thoughts on this it you know how long have you had it um does it you know hold up really well because i find that all of my chanel fragrances really stay and last really long on my skin um even the chanel chance line does as well i don't own any of those fragrances but who knows maybe i'll add one or two to my collection in the future anyways thank you so much for watching you guys i hope you had a wonderful new year's eve i am Again, I'm sorry that this uh, video came so late, but it's, uh, you know, we're taking it one day at a time. 
Thank you so much for watching and see you next time guys. Bye.